let me show you how i process my raw image capture one and how you can do it too so let's go into capture one right now once i bring my raw image to capture one the first thing i do before balancing the image i just crop the image first so i'm just going to click on my crop tool right here and since i want to upload this image for instagram i prefer to use the 4x5 method which works for instagram so just right click on this um crop tool right here and just change it to 4x5 if you want to upload for instagram and i'm just going to crop it 4x5 like this and i'll just click on enter now after that next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to balance this image i'm going to um fix the highlights fix the shadows and, and fix the skin tone and to do that first thing i'm going to do i'm just going to turn on this my exposure one right here to see if the highlight is picking so once my exposure one is on i can see if the highlight is picking and all that and also i'm using my histogram right here to also see how the image is looking so the first thing i'm going to do for this image i'll come to my exposure tab right here so this is my exposure tab and just bring it all the way down look for my high dynamic range and just bring down the highlights a little bit like this and i'm just going to open up the shadows a little bit as well like this after that i'm just going to bring up my white to compensate for this highlight which i brought down and just take down my shadows as well like this and um next thing i'm going to do i'm going to slide all the way down and move this uh shadow slider to this side a little bit so i come to my levels and just move these sliders a little bit by two percent and let's see if i move my highlights what's going to happen so i'm just going to move my highlight a bit and see i think i'm just going to move my highlight all the way down like this okay now let's see our before and after these are before and these are after these are before and these are after you can see we have already started to balance this image and you can see the difference if this video will be helpful to you so make sure to give it a like so more people can see this video and learn from this video thank you and next i'm going to do i'm just going to work on the skin tone i'm just trying to make the skin tone look even and to do that i'm just going to mask only the skin tone and to mask and capture one all you have to do is come to this layer right here create a new empty adjustment layer pick your normal brush tool just paint on the place you want to mark so so for me i want to mask only the skin so i'm just going to click on the skin and start painting on the skin like this and if you can't see your mask just press on m or your keyboards to reveal your mask so i'm just going to paint only on the skin like this so if you feel you make any mistakes you can just pick your eraser tool this is your eraser, eraser tool right here so you just click on it and just remove it from the part which you don't want like that so i've already masked the part which i want to mask i don't want to mark this part because of this flare right here so after that i'm just going to click right click on this my adjustment layer and just click on uh refine masks and i'll just click on apply after i've applied it i'll just press on m on my keyboard again to hide the mask and right now with my adjustment layer selected i'll come to my color tab right here and just look for skin tone so under my color editor i'll see skin tone right here i'm just going to pick on this hydro part tool right here and just select any part of the skin which i want the other parts to look like so for this image i want the erase part of the skin to look like this part right here so i'm just going to click on it so once i click on it it's going to show all the parts that are selected right here and to see the part that are not selected i'm just going to hide this i'm just going to turn on this view selected color range and those parts that are not selected are going to turn black and white as you can see so the part that are not selected are black and white why the part that are selected are, are colors but since we already mask it so this effect is only going to affect the mask it's not going to affect the dress that's why i mask it because there's yellows on the dress so that's why i mask it but if this um model or the subject has other dress i can just choose to work only on the skin tone without masking it but because it has yellow dress that's why i mask it so any adjustment i make right now is just going to work only on the skin it's not going to affect the other parts of the image so i'm just going to turn this off so you can see the image as it was before so let me just show you a typical example if i move my saturation all the way down you can see the image is looking dark right now so see the before let me show you the before and after say the before and the after but i just did that to show you the function of what i just did so i'm going to bring this back up the way it was originally and i'm just going to come to my uniformity bring my hue of my uniformity all the way up like this and saturation all the way up like this and i'm just going to bring that the hue of this one down a little bit like this minus five so i feel i like the skin tone the way it is like this so let's see the before and after 
this is the before and this is the after but if you want to see only the skin so you can just choose to hide your adjustment layer so see the before and after this is the before and this is the after the before and after just a subtle difference but if you feel the adjustment to make is too much you can just come to this opacity slider right here and just reduce the opacity if you want to but i feel it's okay like this so i'm just going to increase the opacity like this and next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to open this image in photoshop right now and to open this image in photoshop all i have to do is right click and just click on edit with photoshop and i choose any bit you want i'm using system bits and i'm going to click on edit variant and this image is just going to open in photoshop so basically that's how i process my real image in capture one before taking it to photoshop for retouching my next video i'm going to do a full retouching tutorial on how i retouch this particular image right here in photoshop i'll see you guys in my next video stay creative